in wisdom, peace, and love to the complete sequence. This is his sister, Reggie Melissa, with a new message for the week. And it actually is one that I've spoken of um, briefly in bits and pieces um, here lately regarding the feminization of men and the demoralization of women. Because this is something that seems to be a tool, a social engineering tool that has worked and is working for the blood covenant enforcers, i.e. the Illuminati, and it's time for us to say hell to the no to this and to fight strongly against it. And something else that I have that I would like to touch on, and that is the use of sound. Brother Henry of the Toe Technology said how the Illuminati uses sound frequencies that are being emitted through the television, through our electrical wires, and into every home. And you know, this is very disarming. Well, it's disturbing to know that they're actually doing this. And you can't figure out why your animals, why your children, why your husband, or why your wives would just are behaving negatively. And it's something that is outside of their control, and yet it is within their control. Because in the end, I know that you're not going to want to do this, but still it's just food for thought, okay? And that is, if you are able to, and you have television, lots of um, electrical gadgetry, as we all do today, just unplug it. Use it for when you want to use it, but when you are not using it, unplug it. Okay? And then that way, that's just one less tool that they will be able to use to have access to you, your family, and your home. Another thing is the, the use of the female sex. The female sex has actually been the weapon of choice <laughs> to bring down mankind. But this is by why, because Brother Henry said that he said that it is the negative energy of women that has pretty much ruined the earth. And you know, I started thinking about that. And he has a point. Truly, he has a point. Because women throughout the scriptures, if you are a Christ believer, I am, and I know that many of you are, if you are a Christ believer and you were raised by um, mothers, fathers who were God fearing, then you know the Old Testament, the New Testament, you were raised up on the Psalms, Proverbs. And throughout them, we were told the consequences were of having a daughter who is raised a harlot. Now, if a harlot can bring down one man, if fathers who do not raise their daughters up properly can bring down a nation, then I'll let you know that if fathers have not been raising their daughters properly, and you have a planet that consists of many nations, then that means that means that the whole planet was brought down by, by women, by the female sex to do so. Mm -hmm. okay. And this is what is most disturbing too, because women, especially beautiful women, have been using their sex against them for a long time for non-physical purposes. To get stuff seriously. If any of any of you out there brought down a man or hurt a man simply because he wouldn't give you money, 
wouldn't buy you a dress, wouldn't buy you a pair of shoes, wouldn't buy you whatever it was that you thought at the time that you wanted. Seriously, was that worth it? Was it worth hurting that man? Was it worth bringing that man down? I assure you it was not. It was not. It is not. I think the women stopped knowing how to be in love a long time ago. And that's because they were hurt. You know, it only takes one woman to be rejected. And then that woman can kind of see elsewhere. And where sometimes seeds that men plant among women do not take root. When a woman plants a seed, I mean, other women, their seeds are more likely to take root. And practicing that just equals to truly, first of all, I am not a homosexual, a homosexuality basher, but I I just don't don't un I, I just don't get it. I don't I don't understand why men choose to have sex with with each other, and then why women choose to have sex with each other. And here's the the irony with women. Why would two women choose to be with each other? And while they are in the love making or the sexual process, because their bodies, because their bodies needs are yearned for a penis, and let's just call it what it is, we are we are the circle. The male penis is the stick. Is the stick? Okay, take a symbolism. The circle, the bullseye, all right, becoming one, the eye, the all-seeing eye, okay, it's the circle, it's the circle with the stick in the middle of, of that, okay, it's the vagina, the penis. The love-making practices of lesbian women, the whole why would a woman use inanimate objects on each other rather than finding the right man with the right stick for her hole and getting the real thing? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just don't get that. I'm sorry, you stayed far, far, far away from me, not interested over the years when I was much younger. Not so much now, but when I was much younger. Oh my goodness gracious, it seemed like there were always girls around that liked other girls. For some reason, that liked me. But that was not my forte, it was not something that I was interested in. I'm grateful that I never engaged in that practice, nor do I ever intend to. So that's against my nature. And then for men, truly, why did men? Now, some will say they were born this way. Not up to us, know that is a mystery that only Heavenly Father knows. But I know that for some, women were at the core of that as well. Because I've observe a disturbing trend and that is married married couples. Women forcing celibacy upon their husbands in marriage, keeping sex away from them. And men need sex. Like the body needs air. <laughs> try to prevent men from having sex I and mean, that's what the Roman Catholic Church did a long time ago, forcing the priest not to have sex and what happened? It just it just made made them practically all of them perverse. 
in the gospel of the Holy Trump, Christ says that they that can abstain from sex, okay? He said that they were like this from birth. Celibacy is something that they, they, you must be born with because all men are not born to be celibate. And if you are wanting to serve God in Christ and you are still, and you are um, you find the female sex desirous, then there's nothing wrong. You can still serve God and have a wife too. Leave that organization. Leave that church. That's a that's that's a falsehood. That is a perversion. Okay. Say no. If they're telling you not to practice sex, remind them that God of God's commandment in the book of Genesis. Okay, first book of Genesis that a man is to leave father and mother, take one wife and to cleave unto her. Cleave unto her. But women, you know, you can't close the gatehouse <laughs> when your night comes knocking. <laughs> Come on now. You know, if something's broken, you have to figure out a way to fix it. But it's better to be in love and to love and not to love and um, stop letting the Illuminati use the female sex. Pornography, you have to have a woman because most of, most of the pornography that is sold out in the world is a woman, young girls. All right? It's, it's ludicrous. It's stupid. It's, it's stupid. So let's just stop this. All right? Let's make a promise day and it begins with one person because that one person becomes two persons, three persons, three persons, three people. The thing is is that where does it begin here? And before you know it, the whole planet is engulfed. Rather than being engulfed in negativity, we are engulfed in love. So on that note no more being a harlot, a hoe, a prostitute. From this day forward, God should be a woman of honor, a woman of character, a woman of righteousness. And if you don't know what type of woman that is, go and open up your Bible, read the book of Psalms, book of Proverbs. Just read your Bibles, read the Gospel of Peace, the Gospel of the Holy Twelve, the Book of Enoch, they're all, they're all right there. And it's for your reproof, your correction, your instruction, okay, as opposed to not. And embrace the good, reject the negativity. And all of the negatives that we're surrounded by, negative imagery, you know, if anything is placed before your eyes that is offensive, that is negative, see no evil. Okay? If what you are hearing sounds negative, hear no evil. Okay? And then lastly, if words that are, if you're being provoked to say negative words, speak no evil. And then you'll see the love and the positivity that you send out, it will come back. Have a blessed remainder to you, your brothers and sisters. We love you. I'm getting better with this left hand too. Just send me a note. Just say hi. I am loving being back home in the good old U.S. of A. Still adjusting to this Florida heat. But it's not as hot as before. So I'm happy for that. So, see you soon. Thank you. Be with you.